Hi, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to save text from our app into a text file in the external storage such as SD card. You will also learn how to read the text back into the app. This is one way of saving data in your device. If you want to explore other ways like shared preferences or SQLite database, check out my other playlists from the links in description. By the end of the video, you will be able to do this. Okay, let's get started. Open Android Studio and click Start a new Android Studio project. Click Next. Write the project name. Give the package name. I'm going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Open activity underscore main.xml and change this layout to linear layout. Delete this text view. Delete this line. Next, change some attributes for the root linear layout. Add an edit text to get input from the user. Create a horizontal linear layout to display two buttons side by side for saving and loading. Add a scroll view containing a text view to show the text from saved external file. Check the design. Next, go to mainActivity.java and declare the view object references. Define some string variables initialized with empty string. Get handles for the views in onCreate. Initialize two string variables for storing file name and file path. Since external storage stays on the physical device that the user can remove, we need to check if the external storage is available and is not read-only before we try to read from or write to external storage. If the condition is not true, then we will make the save button disabled. Let's define this method below. Check if external storage is available for read and write by calling environment dot get external storage state method. If the return state is media underscore mounted, then you can read and write files. So return true in that case, otherwise false. Attach on click listener with save button. Clear the text view TV load. Get the input from edit text.
If input is not empty, we will proceed. To access app specific files from external storage, we will call get external files dir method. It returns the path to storage, emulated, zero, android, data, package name, files, my file dir directory on the SD card. Once the app is uninstalled, files here also get deleted. Create a file object like this. Create an object of file output stream for writing data to myfile.txt. Instantiate the file output stream object and pass my external file in constructor. Write to the file. Clear the edit text. Show a toast message to inform the user that the operation has been successfully completed. If the text field is empty, show another toast message. Attach on click listener with load button. Create a file reader object reference. File reader is typically suitable for reading streams of characters. For reading streams of raw bytes, you can use a file input stream. Create a file object like this. Instantiate a string builder object. This class is an alternative to string class and it is mutable, has methods such as append, insert or replace that allow to modify strings. Hence, it is more efficient. Instantiate the file reader object and pass my external file in the constructor. Instantiate a buffered reader object and pass file reader object in constructor. The buffered reader maintains an internal buffer and can be used with different types of readers to read text from an input stream more efficiently. Next, call readLine method on buffered reader object to read a line of text. Use a while loop to read the entire file. Append the line read to string builder object. Also, append a new line. Again, read the next line and store in variable line. In the finally block, convert the string builder content into string and add text file contents with a new line at the beginning. Set the text view with file contents. Go to manifests and add the necessary permissions. Run the application to check the output. Perfect. You can also save the file in your computer.
Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.